Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. So I will uh, um, take some moment today just to make a few considerations uh, about uh, what is actually an experience today. So I, I will try not to talk uh, about amusement, maybe we'll talk about it later, but uh, make some considerations uh, uh, mostly based on our experiences uh, as an aggregator and a resellers of uh, um, uh, tours, attractions, uh, activities uh, all over the world, especially in Europe. Uh, um, it is true that amusement was born in Italy and has been been very much focusing, uh, at least until the recent times, uh, uh, into Southern Europe. So the, the major countries in which we have been selling uh, uh, tours and activities have been mostly Italy, France, and Spain. Then we uh, obviously expanded in other territories, but let's say that we have a very strong focus on this. So my first consideration about uh, about what is an experience is about who we are, so how Europe looks like. And I think the first thing that came up to my mind the other day uh, while thinking about what, 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 uh, how, how I, I would figure <laughs> Europe um, uh, was this image. So an old man. Uh, I, I think we, we definitely look old. Um, we also look small, I would say, as, as a territory, as a destination. Um, uh, our infrastructure are, 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 are not as new as they should be, probably. Our way of thinking tourism um, and uh, the overall management uh, are sometimes uh, uh, lagging behind. Uh, even if uh, we have to say that uh, we have a great potential. So uh, if we take uh, uh, some moments uh, to look at uh, and look at uh, the, the, the figures uh, about, uh, uh, for instance, the number of suppliers and so the numbers of tours and activities and things to do in, in Europe, we see that uh, um, uh, the majority uh, of, of them um, across the world are actually in Europe in this uh, uh, very old and small uh, uh, territory, which is, I think, uh, very great. But it is also a fact that this means that uh, the overall uh, business is very uh, fragmented. 40% of all supply uh, of tours and activities, it is in Europe, but still very, very much comprised of, of, of many uh, uh, diverse uh, subcategories and so many diverse uh, uh, businesses. Um, another um, element uh, uh, which I think is very relevant about uh, the supply side is that uh, less than 40% of it uh, is uh, actually using a reservation system. Uh, Andrea was talking about Bokken. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of reservation systems right now that are allowing suppliers to connect with resellers, and I think that Europe is uh, also in this uh, 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 lagging a little bit behind. The other uh, 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 big issue um, uh, is how supply currently um, handles uh, its offer. Uh, in fact, as uh, uh, before it was uh, uh, mentioned by other uh, speakers, only 20% of the revenues are now uh, coming uh, uh, from the online channels, and uh, besides uh, smaller local providers, uh, uh, the majority of big museums and attractions uh, don't seem uh, to me to have a very strong digital vision, uh, which is uh, sometimes uh, a, big, a big issue. They're struggling uh, still in using, understanding the digital uh, potential uh, in terms of efficiency, in terms of how they can handle their offer in a better uh, way. Lastly, um, uh, we, we cannot forget about over-tourism. Uh, being an old and small destination, as I said, uh, we're definitely suffering from uh, uh, the increasing pressure of, of more and more uh, tourists uh, from all over the world. Now, the question has been uh, mostly about uh, uh, how much uh, did, did technology uh, uh, help uh, get us uh, there, uh, because obviously technology improved the way of traveling and uh, probably increased the amount of tourism by definition. But now, I would also uh, uh, would say uh, that uh, we should understand how much technology can help us uh, out in, in solving uh, this type of issues. But what about our customers, and in particular, uh, what about uh, our, uh, let's say, uh, outbound travelers uh, coming from uh, Asia to uh, Europe, uh, Chinese, but not only Chinese uh, customers? So uh, I would say that consumers overall are definitely looking a little bit different from the old guy I was showing before. Um, they are uh, definitely uh, much more uh, advanced, uh, uh, social, um, uh, very techy, uh, and they have a very high level 
a very high level of expectations from products and brands. So they are very demanding. They want more, they want everything, and they want uh, uh, everything uh, as seamless as, pos as possible. And this is how digital can, uh, I think, uh, help very much. We also need to consider that uh, uh, customers uh, coming outbound from uh, from Asia uh, are very uh, are very different from each other. So we are handling uh, a, a relationship uh, that is based on on differences. Uh, we have tourists uh, coming in in Europe uh, uh, from Hong Kong that are different from uh, from the ones coming from South Southeast Asia, uh, uh, the ones from Japan that are different from the one from China, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think this is a very important important element considering the amount of people that is actually traveling outside, uh, outside uh, Asia, outbound uh, all over the world. Uh, we also need to consider that uh, um, uh, uh, the majority of the customers uh, um, uh, are visiting other countries, uh, uh, where the visiting other countries are independent travelers. Um, at least uh, uh, this is uh, very true for uh, all the territories with this, the, the, the exception of, of mainland China, even if, uh, I mean, the, the, the growing uh, number of independent travelers uh, is, uh, is uh, also very uh, significant uh, for uh, the Chinese. And last but not least, uh, there is also uh, a big difference uh, in terms of uh, the tastes, um, um, so not only in terms of habits and, and behaviors, but also in terms of, of interests, of, of passions. So, uh, um, uh, for instance, uh, uh, there is a study uh, that uh, has been shown uh, uh, between Chinese and non-Chinese tourists, there is a difference in terms of, of, of their preferences. So uh, Chinese tourists tend to prefer natural scenery and, and theme parks, uh, whereas non-Chinese tourists prefer cultural and historical attractions, which is something to take in, into consideration. Now, um, it's, it's all about experience, as, as, as we are uh, saying most of the times. But uh, uh, again, w what is an experience? So uh, here I'm not uh, talking about uh, the experience uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the thing that you are actually doing. I'm not talking about the museum. I'm not talking about uh, uh, the attraction. I'm talking about something more complex. So we need to actually take that in consideration every time we think about the opportunities and about uh, the, the relationship we should establish with our potential customers, which is actually that an experience is uh, uh, a combination of, of perceptions, of emotions, of memories, of responses and uh, knowledge um, that a person expects, uh, that a person leaves and, and remember when interacting with a product, with a brand, with uh, uh, a system. So uh, it, it's not just the activity per se. We, uh, I think, uh, especially as uh, suppliers and resellers, and 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 in terms of the of the collaboration that we have between uh, these two uh, 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 players, uh, we we always need to actually take in consideration that it's not about the activity, but it's about the entire customer journey. It's about the entire customer experience. Um, um, if we want to be uh, ready to actually uh, 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 manage and, and, and speak and, and, and have a relationship with, especially with new customers that are coming from abroad, we need to take that in consideration. Um, and last uh, but not least, so based on, on, on uh, our experience in, in amusement, uh, uh, I think that there are four uh, pillars uh, that uh, we should need to take in consideration uh, uh, to make a customer experience uh, as, uh, at its best. And the first one is, uh, and this is something that we uh, did uh, since the beginning as amusement, uh, so the first thing is to contribute as much as possible uh, to uh, an API ecosystem. Uh, so the possibility of connecting uh, automatically the availability, the pricing, the bookings, the systems uh, uh, between resellers and suppliers, which I think uh, is a first uh, fundamental element. The second element is about user experience, and I'm not talking about uh, the overall physical user experience. I mean, suppliers are taking that as their uh, uh, must, but I'm talking about uh, the, the digital uh, user experience, which is fundamental in the customer journey because it represents uh, the first element before uh, the experience itself of the activity, but it, it, it can also represent uh, 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 what, what is happening maybe uh, 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 in a destination when the customer is uh, 
on ground in front of a place, uh, looking for something to do, looking for the meeting point, for instance, or uh, looking for just uh, some practical information about the way of entering or the way of seeing uh, the things that uh, he is going to experience. Uh, the third element uh, is uh, um, the uh, service-driven approach. So if we are thinking about uh, a customer experience, a customer journey, instead of just thinking about the experience per se, we need to take in consideration that we need to provide services, like real high valuable uh, services, which are uh, very much about the practical stuff, like uh, the paperless uh, tickets, the skip the line features, uh, uh, information, uh, uh, and everything that can help uh, uh, the customer uh, 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 having a, 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 ba a, a better uh, experience uh, uh, while visiting. And last but not least, um, and this is something that, uh, uh, again, as, as, as amusement we have uh, uh, done uh, since the very beginning, as, uh, as we did with the API, is uh, um, data science. So we need to actually carefully uh, analyze uh, uh, our customers, our potential customers, our ex uh, future inspecting customers, uh, uh, and uh, we now have very awesome technology to do that as machine learning. Um, and I think this is another element uh, that we need to take in consideration in terms of the collaboration that we should nurture and nurture between suppliers uh, and resellers, uh, uh, especially thinking about new customers uh, coming to Europe. Thank you very much.